You are now in a thinks-free zone, and the question is, do you want to live your best life? Most people think they need to do more to live a great life. But the opposite is true. You need fewer toxic things in your life. In today's session, we will go over 11 things you should quietly eliminate from your life. And once you remove these 11 things, you will instantly notice how your life changes. Number 1. Get rid of the noise. There's too much noise all around us. From the news to social media. You're being fed non-stop information. Sometimes we just need to mute the noise. Take a moment for quiet time. Turn off the phone. Find a quiet place. Have a cup of coffee or tea. And just think about things. Or think about nothing at all. You'll be surprised how many solutions you'll find in silence. Number 2. Waiting for the perfect moment. Most people wait for the perfect moment for everything. The perfect moment to start a new business. The perfect moment to start having kids with their spouse. The perfect moment to break a habit. Guess what? The perfect moment never comes. It doesn't exist. So just do what you need to do instead of procrastinating. Number 3. Constant self-doubt. Whenever we chase our goals, there comes a point where self-doubt kicks in. This self-doubt can destroy our confidence and keep us further and further away from accomplishing our goals. Now, most motivational people will tell you to just keep believing in yourself. But that does not help when your self-doubt is strong. I have found that the best way to get rid of self-doubt is to recognize that often that self-doubt is justified. Number 4. Avoid constant comparison. Most people constantly compare themselves to others, and that's why they remain miserable. Listen. Comparing ourselves to others is a natural tendency, but it can quickly become an unhealthy habit. Why? Because instead of focusing on our own growth and achievements, we can become fixated on what others are doing and how they are doing it. This type of comparison is not only unproductive but can also lead to feelings of inadequacy. We must recognize that everyone's journey is unique, and what works for someone else may not work for us. We all have different journeys and paths in life, and it is important to remember that each person's journey is unique. Instead of constantly comparing yourself to others, focus on your journey and purpose. Now, I want to emphasize that there is nothing wrong with comparison if you're in competition against another man. But if you are not competing, do not compare yourself to others. Comparison is a thief of joy, and it only serves to bring unnecessary stress and dissatisfaction into your life. Embrace your own strengths and talents and strive to be the best version of yourself. Remember that success and happiness are not measured by how you stack up against others, but by how fulfilled and content you are with your own accomplishments. Number 5. Feeling sorry for yourself. There is nothing more pathetic than a man who feels sorry for himself. I understand that life can be very hard. But no matter what you are going through, no matter your story, a man can't feel sorry for himself. Because feeling sorry for ourselves only makes us weaker. It gives us excuses to fail. And nothing good ever comes from it. Always remind yourself that there are many successful people out there who had it worse than you. They didn't become successful by complaining or by having a victim mindset, but by using their pain and pushing forward. Number 6. Let go of the past. A lot of people live in the past. They don't realize that the past is over and done with. Listen, the only reason to go back to the past is if there are lessons to be learned. But after learning those lessons, it's time to move on. The moment that matters to our lives the most is now. And only a fool would let the present moment go to waste. I know it sounds cliche, but there's nothing you can change about the past. It's already over. The only time you can do something about and change for the better is right now. Number 7. Let go of resentment. A lot of people hold grudges in their heart without even knowing it, whether it's against other people or something that happened to them. They have a form of hatred deep inside their heart, 
and this keeps them from true inner peace. Now, I understand what it's like to have that resentment. I've had it myself for a long time, so I am not judging anyone for using it. Hate can be a powerful source of energy to get to your goals. But at the end of the day, hatred corrupts the soul. You can't carry hate in your heart for too long, or it will consume you. So after using your resentment and hate in a productive way, you must learn to let it go. Number 8. Letting them go. The next thing that you need to eliminate from your life is toxic people. Be it in the realm of friendship or romance. Everyone knows that you become the people you spend the most time with. And yet most people do not know how to end bad relationships. They feel obligated to stay in contact with people, even if it hurts them. Listen, no matter how great of a time you once had with a person. Times change. Sometimes a chapter of those people in your life is finished and you need to see that for what it is. It doesn't matter whether you've known them for 10 years. If a person hinders your life, causes you pain or stops you from growing, they need to go. Cut them out of your life, out of loyalty to yourself. And you don't owe anyone an explanation. In fact, it is important to end these relationships without telling everyone. Because when you keep these matters private, you not only preserve the dignity of all involved, but it also helps you with acceptance and healing. Number 9. Do not gossip. We live in times where men gossip more than little girls, and it may seem innocent, but gossiping is quite dark. Think about it. When you speak badly of another person, you are effectively assassinating him. Assassinating someone's character creates negative perceptions by those around them who often accept the gossip they have heard as true. Even when all others around you are gossiping, do not join them. Instead, surround yourself with people who value positivity and authenticity in interactions. Together, you can create a culture of respectful and productive conversations which will help you level up in life. Number 10. Use social media wisely. Social media is a double-edged sword. You can learn a lot, make a lot of money, and improve your life massively with it. But you can also get sucked in and lose yourself in it. Listen, when we scroll through these digital stories, we compare our tough moments with other people's moments of highlight. This makes us feel dissatisfied and jealous. So, it's important to limit how much time we spend on social media. Go in, find what you need, whether it is connection, inspiration, or information, and then leave to focus on your own life. And lastly, don't take yourself too seriously. When it comes to your goals, you should be very disciplined and serious. But there are also times to laugh and enjoy the journey. Laughing is healthy and it removes stress. That joy also makes you feel more energized and loose, which can help you get to your goals. Now, there may be periods where you are extremely serious and disciplined and that is fine. But don't turn into a self-improvement dork that takes himself so seriously he forgets to enjoy life. If you want to level up in life, join the growing legion of free thinkers by hitting the like and subscribing. Let's meet again in our next session.